All right, so that's a peanut butter ball, and that's about a teaspoon of peanut butter and a little over, like a big heaving teaspoon of baking soda, and it's rolled up into the ball. That's about the dosage that you need to kill one large rat, which I'm gonna have to find a better way. But this is what we're gonna try tonight, and I added some chicken feed, and this is the feeding station, and you put that in there, and uh, you know, they go in there and they eat. Uh, they ate, you know, they kicked out all the mixture last night, but the peanut butter, something made them come. So hopefully this, this uh, mixture will at least kill one rat because the, the, the traps are getting ridiculously expensive. But here, here's the mixture. One teaspoon, I mean a hefty teaspoon, over a teaspoon of baking soda rolled up into a ball. It's kind of messy. Rolled up into a ball of uh, peanut butter. Here, here's the other one. This one doesn't look as shiny as this one, but I'm gonna put them out at dark. And then this one here is bigger because I put, I put the most in here. So, anyway. All right, so I got one of them right down there. Okay. And then, and then I'm gonna put one right here. And then, so we got it right here. Okay. And then, <clears throat> right there. So they'll have a little feeding station. And we'll be able to keep the bugs out of there. I think this one most likely, but I used, so I used uh, about a table or, or a teaspoon of uh, peanut butter and a, and a little less than a teaspoon and a half of uh, baking soda. Cause like the, if, if, if a rat eats that whole ball, he's going to get so sick and die. I and mean, he might not even make it out of this garden here or out of the area. And if the animals eat it, well, it won't hurt the animals. So we'll see. Um, um, so I think what I'm going to do next is check this in the morning and I'll get back to y'all. All right. Thanks for watching.